Hey guys, so I wish I had some good news here, but I do not. I've got some bad news from uh, some sources inside the uh, police infrastructure. Um, I consider this to be uh, very credible um, from some people that I trust. Uh, unfortunately, uh, rather than negotiate or speak to or deal with uh, this uh, you know, very popular movement that's happening across the country, the government has opted instead to use uh, brute force. Um, uh, evidently, according to these guys, there's uh, hundreds of uh, RCMP uh, uh, members from the, the POU P Public Order Unit, the riot cops, uh, are being assembled and bussed into the area. Uh, they're planning on mass arrests. Um, apparently, they're working on this uh, around the clock, 24-7, uh, on how they're going to do this. Um, they're hoping to you know, arrest uh, a couple of people, and for every person that they arrest, 10 people will disperse and leave the area. Hopefully, um, plan on they're going to be killing cell phone service. You're not going to be able to call. You're not going to be able to live stream. You're not going to be able to do anything. It's going to be it's going to be off. Um, people that are arrested are going to be collected. They're going to be bussed down to uh, Lansdowne uh, for processing, and um, that's how they're going to plan to uh, disperse this. They're going to rather than talk to anybody, rather than deal with any of this, the most uh, peaceful, uh, unified um, national moment we're having right now. Uh, the state, this is apparently it's coming directly from the top, is to use a force to disrupt and, and, and disperse these protests um, before Friday. Um, but that could mean that could mean tomorrow. It could be tonight. It could be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, but they're they're working on it apparently around the clock. And um, hundreds of hundreds of cops are on the way here uh, to prepare for this. Uh, you can expect. I guess uh, a few hundred RCMP uh, riot cops are going to be taking the lead on this. And then there's going to be, of course, support from the OPS, who are now apparently uh, exempt from being vaccinated. Isn't that nice? Isn't that a nice uh, thing? I know, I, you know, uh, the way they bribe these guys, right? And then, of course, you've got the OPP here. You've got the Durham police, I saw. I've got Toronto police. The entire uh, government apparatus is coming down on top of these people. Um, so for what it's worth, I'm telling you, this is, a, I'm warning you, this is what, Again, it's coming from people that I trust. They're coming and they're going to arrest everybody. And they're just going to come down there and they're going to lock you up. And that's going to be that. That's the plan. That's what they're planning to do. They don't want to talk to you. They're not interested in entertaining your your uh, your, your, your your problems or, or talking to you. It's not going to happen. They're planning to send in the jackboots to round everybody up and have them all arrested. And you've only got a couple of days, if that. So share that around, get this out, get this message out to the truckers, get it out to their, their organizers, their leadership. I'm already in, you know, in touch with some of these guys and, and trying to let them know and warn them. Um, this is coming from, you know, good guys inside the apparatus that this is the plan. This is what they're working on and this is what's coming. So buckle up.